Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike. We're back with another video. This time though, it's not a four wheel vehicle. It is a two wheel vehicle. Yes, we're going to review the Himaway Cruiser electric bike with fat four inch tires. You really have to be kidding me, right? See all the little pistons? All right, it looks like snow. <laughs> I'm pouring a V12 engine. You thought this was gonna be perfect, right? Why can't I, like, fall in love with Alexis? Monkey. Monkey. Wrench. Wrench. Mike. Mike. Yay! I'm say, in the car. I gotta tell you, it was love at first sight. This is a nice, heavy, stout, well-built bicycle that came in a box a little bit bigger than she is right here. Let me show you what all is involved to put her together. Here's how the box arrives. Look at this. Woo, Hemiway. Love it, love it, love it. Cruiser all-terrain electric fat bike. 98 pounds of fun. Yeah, look at this dude right here. Let's unbox it, see what she looks like, and then we'll take her for a spin and we'll give you our honest opinion. This I am really, really excited about. That's what she looks like so far. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at these big old tires. Look at these big old tires. And they are somewhat inflated. I love it. They even have a little white wall right there. Okay, we also have a little package of accessories that came in the bottom of the box. I've already opened, well, I've cut the tape. Let's see what, oh. <laughs> you get a hat. Love it. Okay. You get tools, love it. You get this thing, love it. This thing, you got your pedals, you got a light, and I'm guessing this is the charging equipment right here maybe? Let me see, yep, right there. That's what you charge it up with. Look at that, how easy is this gonna be to put together? All right, let me show you what's going on right here. I love this little tool. Look at that. This is a nice little rack too, a little wood rear parcel rack. Look at this tool. You get everything that you need. All these little Allen wrenches right here. There you go. You also get <laughs> some sockets, screwdriver, Phillips flat, a larger Allen wrench, and you get kind of a wrench right here. Look at that, which is great. And they tell you what everything is. The only thing I would do I would add an eight millimeter wrench because you can't really tighten this and hold down the, the nut behind it, okay, that holds the uh, mud guard right there on your tire. Yeah, I would add that to your list of tools and maybe a bigger wrench that would had attach this. I think it's a 15 because this is a counterclockwise, the other one is clockwise um, to tighten it up because that's what you're pushing on your foot, foot. So I would add two wrenches to the list. But this is cool. This is really, really cool. It was just that easy to put together. Now let's kind of take a look at some of the styling. I'll take you on a little walk around tour, show you exactly what she has to offer and just what makes her a very good choice if you're looking for an electric bike. All right, well, the first thing that you do notice, those big fat four inch tires right there. Look at those things. They are gorgeous and they really, really complement this matte black or black charcoal look right here, I guess you could call it as far as the color. And yes, you have Himaway everywhere on the bicycle. Lots and lots and lots of branding, which I think is really cool, even on the parcel shelf, which is on the back. I love the tires. I love the little bitty white wall right there. As far as other features, yep, you have a digital display right here with all kinds of information. The electric assist, miles per hour, battery left, and you have seven speeds. Seven speeds right here. I have uh, seen posts about people getting 27, 28 miles an hour and being able to ride this thing for 30 miles. That is a long way. That'll get you where you need to go. 
Also, as you can see, we do have lights right here. Let me see if I can put those on. There they are. We have lights in the front and we have lights in the back that also act as a brake light as well. Here is where you control everything as far as the bike electrics go on and off switch information. You're going to find right there on your display. You have your lights, which are really cool. And this is how you set how much power assist you want. Starts off at zero and it can go up to, I believe it is five right here. Five, you are cruising down the road. And of course, you have a mechanical bell. Here's something that's new to me, a front suspension that is fully adjustable. Yes, you can lock it into place. You can let it kind of bounce up and down and that's gonna make this ride very, very smooth. Watch, if I kind of push on this, see how it kind of bounces back and forth? We'll show you more during the test drive, but that is a really cool feature. Okay, right here is your charging port. This came almost fully charged, which was really, really nice. To go from a dead battery to fully charged, six to nine hours. Not bad when you consider that some people can ride 30 miles on this thing. And look at the brakes. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> you have Tektro Aries brakes, beefy brakes. That is very cool. Well, now that we've kind of taken you around the bicycle, let's take you on top of the bicycle and give you a real world demonstration. I do have to admit, I haven't ridden a bicycle in... <laughs> several years so this isn't one of those reviews from a 20 year old who is going to take you for a ride on the beach or we're not going to do any jumping on some kind of a trail we're not going to do anything like that we are actually here in my neighborhood and we're just going to kind of jump on top of this thing and see how she does we have the power we're going to set the power down to about two let's see let's go to one which is the lowest power setting you can see that right there and we're just going to jump on and see how it goes so say a little prayer ah, that this goes well all right we have the power set to one which is the lowest possible power and i can use the pedal assist okay if i just want to take off and start riding this supposedly oh gosh yeah it's been a while since i've been on a bicycle let's try this uh first we're just going to try electric first okay here we go this is me on a bicycle for the first time in a long, long time. I'm not pedaling. I'm not doing anything. My neighbor decided now is the perfect time to come out and trim his bushes. Interrupt my little video review, but look at this. Okay. Now let's see if I can change gears. Here we go. Could you imagine going to get some groceries on this thing? Holy crap. <laughs> Hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, let's bring her down. Let's bring her down. Okay, this is kind of fun. Holy moly. All right, tell you what, that front suspension is nice. It really kind of absorbs some of the shock on this road. This is a typical Tulsa road with lots and lots of creases and bumps and potholes. And this is cool. I'm just kind of flying by. Okay, let's kind of go down here and see what's going to happen. I do want to go up a hill. That's going to be the fun part. I got a really steep hill. 13 miles an hour, full battery. I could use this thing anytime I wanted. Holy moly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Okay. I'm using the power assist right now. This is the throttle right here. So if I turn this, it's gonna help me get down the road more or less depending on the throttle position. But this thing, oh, 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 this is fun. This is really kind of scary. Woo! Okay, well, we're learning. Yeah, Mike was going so fast he dropped. He dropped the phone slash camera okay and then if i hit this the power is going to kick in which is going to be kind of cool now i can set this to um it's called walk and it will just go at six kilometers an hour and it will just kind of help me walk this thing home okay so if i wanted to do that i could
I don't really want to. I want to get up this hill and show you guys how this thing works. So once this car comes by, we're going to go up the hill. But this thing is fun. This is really, really fun. We're going uphill. And look at it go. Look at this thing. Okay. Here it is. Let's kind of go down here. We're going to get some B-roll. Hello. And show you guys how good I look sitting on top of this bicycle. So what do you think about this? I love this bike. This is so much fun. These tires are fat, they're knobby, but it's made out of something different. It's not like a typical tire type of a rubber situation. I don't know what this is. This feels a little bit different. The bike is heavy though. It is really, really heavy. And you can be heavy too if you wanna take a ride on top of it. <laughs> 355, 350 pounds max capacity. So, I'm well within that, fingers crossed. And the lights are cool, the ride is comfortable. This is very, very cool. In fact, I'm gonna go for a little bit more of a ride. Let's check it out. Okay, we are in top gear right now. Seven, right there, hope you can see it. And I'm just going to go, you know what, to the wall. Here we go, folks. This is the ultimate stress test. And she's doing fine. I mean, this is a steep hill. I can feel the suspension working. This seat is comfortable. But this is oh, 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 so much fun. Look at the hill. Yeah, this is steep. And we're doing a good 16 Full battery strength. I've been driving this thing around for a while, and this is no problem. This is so much fun. Final thoughts on the Himaway Cruiser four inch fat tire bike. I love it. This thing is a kick in the pants. It really is. It is comfortable. There's enough cushion back here, even if you're older like me all kinds of uh, speed if you want it if you just want to get the exercise yeah don't use the battery just use your pedals and enjoy it it's going to give you a little extra too because this thing it does weigh a little bit it is a little heavy but you give it the juice and she just takes off like i said seven speeds headlights tail lights a nice little leather wrapped handlebar right here. All kinds of uh, options, a nice little LCD display. Quick little charging port. You can lock it so no one can take it. There are keys right here and they go in right here to lock it for theft protection. And you get a parcel shelf right there on the back. Price wise, it's a little pricey, but that's okay. If you wanna have some fun, invest in a Hemiway Cruiser. Take it from Monkey Wrench Mike right there. Yeah, it's a lot of fun.